May I now invite Sadhna Didi? This story is about my parents, Shri Mataji Nirmala Devi and Shri Chandrika Prasad Srivastava. My father was born in Unnao, a town near Kanpur in Uttar Pradesh in 1920. His father and mother had passed away even before he was five years old. As a parentless child, he had to brave many challenges, but a divine energy always guided and protected him and he became a serious and hard-working scholar. He won top positions and gold medals in school and college and later joined the Indian Administrative Service in 1947. My mother, Nirmala Salve, was born in Chindwara, Madhya Pradesh, she was the second child of Sri Prasad Rao Keshav Rao Salve, an eminent lawyer, and Cornelia Bai Salve. My grandparents belonged to the generation of Indians who struggled non-violently to win the freedom of their motherland. My mother also answered the call of Mahatma Gandhi, interrupted her education as a medical student, and dedicated herself to to the freedom movement. In 1947, my parents first met and later married at 15 Ferocia Road, New Delhi, which was the residence of my grandfather, who was then a member of the Constituent Assembly of India. In 1964, a golden interlude occurred in the lives of my parents when my father joined the Secretariat of Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri. Shastriji was a true Gandhian, whose great power was his simplicity and his life of truth in politics. My Nivedan is that they have never forgotten that they are the first Indians and then something else. During the 1965 Indo-Pak War, Shastriji's leadership created a great rally of unity all over India when Park forces started pounding at our doorsteps. At the Tashkent meeting in January 1966, Shastriji earned the admiration of both Prime Minister Kosygin and President Ayub Khan with his vision and his commitment to the well-being of the people of the Indian subcontinent. After several years of association with Indian shipping, my father was appointed Secretary General of the International Maritime Organization, the maritime body of the UN. For his achievements, he received national awards from over 30 countries, including the Padma Vibhushan in India, the Knighthood KCMG in the UK, and the Polar Star in Sweden. In 1970, Srimadhuji established Sahaja Yoga, a spontaneous union with the all-pervading divine energy or Param Chaitanya. Sri Mataji actualized this through self-realization or Atma Sakshatkar, leading to a state of thoughtless awareness or Nirvicharita. Sri Mataji gave the path-breaking knowledge of vibratory awareness where you are able to physically feel the pattern of spiritual energy as vibrations. Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi, as she is now known, became the Divine Mother to an ever-growing spiritual family. And today, Sahaja Yoga has reached the farthest corners of the world, extending to people from all walks of life, cultures and languages across 140 countries. Sri Mataji would begin her discourse by saying, I love to all the seekers of truth. The knowledge of truth erases all illusions. 
it gives relief from the tyranny of your own mind, your ego, your negative impulses, your imbalances. It makes you a wise, dynamic, collective and compassionate human being, motivated by the supreme power of love. In the autumn of their lives, my parents were inseparable, sharing their simple joys. Their hard-working and very busy schedule was now gently softened to suit their comfort. What came forth was their essential companionship, mutual dependence and the satisfaction that they could spend days in each other's company. I have asked a thousand people the very same question. Who loved you the most in this world? And a thousand times I have had the same answer. My parents. The oldest relationship in all creation. Unconditional, selfless, unquantified and eternal. I bow in gratitude for the blessing of being born in a civilization where Pitri Dharma, love and deepest respect to our parents and ancestors is the natural way of life. Where we constantly experience paternal blessings which we seek at every step to achieve Parmarth or the purpose of our existence. I thank the all-pervading divine power that we are all assembled here healthy and happy to welcome the eternal truths of life. For me, the finest moment is love and respect to all humanity. And because we are been given life by our parents, the prime position in humanity is naturally for my and all our parents. I bow in homage to all parents who have done such selfless tasks to bring us all up, taught us all our values and cherish and nourish us. I bow in homage to Sri Lal Bahadur Shastri who was the greatest font of values for my own father and mother. And I bow to the work of my parents in bringing such large parts of this world together to understand the power of love. Thank you so much everyone for coming here today. We pray that we stay in love together always. Thank you.